What's going on guys? Nick Boletto here from Boletto Brigade, back with another informational video for you guys. And today I want to talk about the three reasons that you're not making gains. Now, this video could apply to you whether you are a bodybuilder or a powerlifter, whether you train for strength training. It probably could even apply to Olympic lifting. However, I don't have any knowledge nor have I ever done Olympic lifting, so I can't say for sure that this video will apply to you. And I will also say that this video is meant for natural lifters, uh, enhanced lifters. The principles that I'm going to talk about today will probably train differ for you. In addition, this video is mostly for beginners or intermediates. Some of the principles will have to be altered for the advanced lifter. So let's get into topic number one. Reason number one for why you're not making gains comes down to a simple thing, consistency. Consistency in A, your effort, and B, your programming. So let's talk about effort first. This should be pretty obvious. If you're not putting in consistent effort, if you're not going ham in the gym every time, why would you think you're gonna see growth? Why would you think you're gonna see progress? Building muscle, Gaining strength is not an easy thing to do, and it's not going to just magically happen. You have to put in the effort, and you have to put in consistent effort. Now let's talk about programming. I learned this the hard way. Those of you who have been following me on YouTube probably have cringed at my program hopping. Program hopping will kill your gains. Pick a program. It can be a shitty program. Just stick with it for at least 3 months or 12 weeks. Just stick with that program and I guarantee you'll make gains even on a bad program. In fact, you'll make more gains than if you program hop from good program to good program. There are lots of good programs out there and I know the allure to try all of the different programs, but promise me, you will make more gains in the long run if you stick with one program for at least three months at a time, progress through that program, and then if you want to switch to a new one, you can do it after those three months. So consistency in programming and consistency in your effort in the gym. So the second reason that you're not making gains, that you're not seeing the progress you want to see, comes down to frequency. So frequency refers to the amount of times that you hit a certain lift or a certain body part in a certain amount of time. So just to make things easy, we're going to talk about a weekly basis. So there was a study done where untrained lifters one group of untrained lifters would hit a certain lift, let's say the squat. They would squat twice a week, while another group would squat four times a week. They were equivocated for volume, meaning that they hit the same amount of weekly volume. And what do you think that they saw? After 12 weeks, the group that squatted four times a week saw significant, statistically significant, strength gains in their squat versus the group that only squatted twice a week. And the group that squatted twice a week, I guarantee you that they would see significant strength gains over a group that, a mythical group that only squatted once a week. So for a natural, the higher the frequency, the better. Similarly, if you look at a bodybuilding standpoint where you're not necessarily trying to improve your strength, a group that hits, say, back twice a week versus a group that hits back four times a week is going to see less gains in that group that hits back four times a week. The higher frequency, the better. You look at, say, Omar Isoff and Greg Knuckles. They recently came out with the Bulgarian Method, uh, the ebook. You know, anywhere from two to four times a week has been proved optimal for natural bodybuilders, but you can even go up to six, maybe even seven days a week per lift or per body part. So try and get in that two to four times a week range. If you're doing once a week, you're really missing out on gains. Protein synthesis, which is basically your muscle building, stops after about 36 hours after the stimulus, which means you really should be hitting every body part or every lift, depending on your goals, about three times a week. So really try and get into that two to four times a week range. Time for tip number three. Reason number three for why you're not making gains comes down to your volume. Either your volume is too high or too low. Let's start with why it might be too low. If, for instance, you're training for powerlifting or strength training, you might, you might have heard that you should train in the one to five rep range. And so if you do that, let's say you're hitting 
singles or doubles and even if you hit five singles you're only hitting five reps for that given lift and quite frankly that's just not enough meanwhile if you're on a bro split you're doing say six exercises for five sets and at the end of the workout, you feel like you're dead because you know you might be, and you had you accumulated three or four hundred reps in that given workout just for that one body part. Your volume is way too high, and your body's just not going to recover from it all the way. The optimal amount of reps for a given body part or for a given lift has been found to be between 30 and 85 reps for one given workout. So 85 reps might be best for, say, your back, your quads, glutes, hamstrings. Then 30 reps might be more, might be better for, say, your biceps and your triceps, whereas your chest and your shoulders might fall somewhere in between, maybe around 50 to 60 reps. Um, this is all depending on the size of the muscle that you're working. And then when it comes to the lift, you want to be getting at least 30 reps in, um, in order to gain strength. As you're tapering down or as you're testing strength, you can go below that 30. But in general, you want to be getting a, at least 30 reps per workout for a given lift in order to get stronger at that lift. Um, so to review, three reasons you're not making gains comes down to your consistency, your frequency is probably too low, and your volume is either too low or too high. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this kind of video, you want to see more informational videos. I've been doing a ton of research. I've been learning a lot of really cool things that I would like to share with you guys. So if you guys are interested, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll be sure to get more videos like this one out to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.